man, oh man, good morning. Don't you feel just optimistic sometimes? Let me put those back on. It's bright. All right, so quick update. Number one, if anybody is not aware, Badge now has a channel. I will link it in the description. Uh, he's doing all sorts of videos. <laughs> he might actually have more videos than me by now. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's been uploading like crazy. But as you know, he's a hilarious guy, a very lovable guy, uh, likable guy, a uh, great guy, you know, all those things that are true about him. But he's also a very smart guy. and has a lot of uh, very specific RV uh, and mechanic uh, information. So if anybody needs that, check out the link in the description. Uh, tell him I sent you. And, uh, I mean, you get your daily dose of badge over there. So, I got the bus back, okay? It is parked back where it's always parked. Over there, off yonder, right there. Here's the update. The transmission is incredible. <laughs> now, I've had a couple people ask me, oh my gosh, I have a 545. Should I uh, upgrade my transmission? I don't have enough power, I, whatever. Simple answer, no. Unless there's something wrong with your transmission, you don't need to spend extra money and spend it on that. I happen to have an issue where there was a lot of brass in the pan and called and wanted to play it safe uh, and basically fix it before it breaks. Okay, so the old saying is true. Don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There we go. Um, now it is heating up in the desert. There are flowers blooming and it's getting hot and um, I don't like the heat so once it starts to heat up I'm out of here I'm going north uh, what else can I tell you I'm not sick anymore three weeks later I feel great I feel fine I feel back to normal um, also thank you to everyone on patreon if it wasn't for you guys I would have had to stop the channel would stop I couldn't make videos uh, I would have to stop and save more money and then take off and travel again so all of you guys are making a huge difference and each and every one of you from one dollar and up is uh, making a difference in my life a positive difference in my life and I am so grateful to, for you here's what I'm working on today I am making a ladder yesterday I cut and grinded all of the metal pieces um, for my ladder my ladder will look kind of like a hangman uh, it goes basically it goes up over down uh, mounting bracket, 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 bracket. Uh, that's the bumper down below. So today I'm going to be welding this all together. Welding isn't all that interesting to watch it repetitively, so I'll check in periodically and show you the progress. is true practice makes perfect uh, aside from blowing a little hole in the weld right there that's a pretty damn good weld if I don't say so myself stage one is done this is upside down but uh, this is gonna rest on the deck little support and then go down the roof I just realized <laughs> I didn't measure from five inches out until yeah so I might actually have to redo this you know it's of course the one, <laughs> the one measurement that you don't make that screws everything up this top part actually needs to be about five inches longer uh, I didn't compensate for the fact that I'm gonna have five inch spacers mounting brackets on there which only leaves me with that much to attach to the wood it's just not enough so I'm gonna cut this piece off cut another one 17 inches long all right here's a finished product this is uh, I don't even know beam number one we'll call it it's uh, just connected like a hangman right now so I'm gonna repeat part two except for making that little mistake 
uh, I have the longer one right there. You know, sometimes in life you just have a really crappy weld, and that's just the way things work. Uh, especially, especially when you re-weld a rel weld. But when you have a nice, clean, tight, you know, weld like this, it just makes you happy. You know? But you are going to have crappy ones no matter what. But that's what it looks like when it's nice and lined up properly, proper distance, and all that fun stuff. You know, a lot of this customization is uh, uh, learning and thinking. And uh, since I haven't learned nor thought about this before, here I am with an inter interesting situation. The wood, the deck platform, is about this level. So I thought to myself, from this level down should be a foot, because a foot is uh, standard for a step. Because if I had a step here, it would just be plain awkward. You're going to have to allow your body to travel down enough to be comfortable and hang on to the rails. So this is one of those thinking moments. <clears throat> uh, I have a lot of these thinking moments. Sometimes my thoughts are wrong. I feel like this is a pretty good one. This is a pretty good idea. Here we go. This is uh, after all the work I did on it yesterday. Uh, I got all everything welded. Um, and next step, I'm going to take this uh, little angle grinder with a flap disc on there, and I am going to sand down the front and back um, welds, make it nice and smooth. I don't really care too much about the inside part because that's just where you step. But I might just kind of hit it and. Uh, you know, smooth out some parts and especially right there where that um, wire is. Phase two, look at how much better my welds are getting. Uh, I'm putting on the uh, mounting brackets. I cut these down. I had to level the um, ladder vertically. Uh, <clears throat> so these go into the bumper. These are a little bit shorter. These are about an inch longer or so and those are gonna go I don't know, somewhere about there or something. And then of course the top ones and you know these are already made and then next step is uh, what I already did here is I grinded down a bunch of these welds so it's nice, it's somewhat smooth, won't cut your fingers and um, then of course after this I need to wipe this clean, spray it with um, primer and then let it dry and then hit it with a couple layers of paint. Add a little weld to the corner here, just because it was uh, chunking up a little bit. But uh, basically this thing is uh, structurally done. Just gonna hit this with the uh, flap sander. Um, get all these uh, things smoothed out, more like this, where they are smooth to the touch, and uh, on the inside as well. <coughs> if anybody wants the, I don't know, design for this thing, it's very custom to my roof. Uh, my roof is now flat because of the wood deck, right? <coughs> so if you guys make something, unfortunately, it's going to need to be completely custom. But in a nutshell, this thing is about eight and, a half, eight and a half feet long. This is a four and three quarter piece. No, four and a quarter piece. Five inch, five inch. 17 and like I don't know eight or something like that. So <coughs> These are one foot spaces one foot space 14 feet or 14 inches wide I think um, So yeah, it's just a ladder if you know how to weld You can put this together if you don't know how to weld Well, I highly suggest you learn how all right through the magic of Filmmaking. This has already been primed. I'll let it sit for an hour. Probably not as long as you should. It does say it is dry after an hour. Totally cured in 24. But I uh, want to get this thing done. I might be having a change of locations 
back to a place that we've already been together. This just actually idea just came about. Uh, I'm not sure if it is uh, uh, going to happen, so I won't say where it is or what the idea is, but uh, yeah, just thought I would mention that. Got a time lapse going. Let's watch me paint the ladder. go as you guys have may have seen I just used one can of uh, spray paint on this it takes a lot less than primer <clears throat> and uh, I'm very glad that I primed it beforehand because otherwise I'm using good paint to uh, you know to prime and uh, yeah got a couple little bugs on there but uh, just scuff those off after it dries I'll leave this uh, till tomorrow hit it with another coat call it a day today I think it's getting a little warm out here which is uh, like I said one of the reasons why I will be changing locations. And uh, part of the conversation about changing locations was that I could help a friend of mine uh, and get some help in return, uh, someone who is constructing a bus as we speak. Um, taking on one of these things by yourself is a lot of work. Even with somebody who is a who has way more experience than me, uh, it's always it's always a lot easier with uh, another pair of hands, so that's where I could come in handy. Just have to uh, double check some things, but that's a possibility. So uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Also, I just want to thank again all of the Patreons for helping my channel exist. There's a lot of help that has come my way from different places, and Patreon is one of the places that I uh, dipped into for the transmission funds. Uh, it's one of the places that... Uh, you know, it's kind of like a little piggy bank. Something happens, uh, you know, I, I, I go there and, and, and instead of, you know, uh, being up a creek without a paddle, so to say. So I just want to thank everybody who pitches in, even if it's like a buck, whatever. And uh, I might be adding some incentives there in the future once the bus gets up and running, depending on things. I say depending on things because um, I have a background in uh, TV hosting. There's always inquiries, things like this coming my way. So at any point in time, I might have to park this thing, take a job, be on TV, be on the internet, who knows. So uh, cross your fingers for those uh, things because they are fun for me, I love doing them. And uh, I like passing off the camera duties to other people and enjoying you know, the rest of the stuff. Mm -hmm.